Okay, talking to head coach Joe Moorhead. Coach, coming off two very physical football teams, Ohio State and Rutgers. How's your team fair coming in now to a finally getting a home game? <laughs> Excited to be home. Uh, I think it'll be a, uh, a great environment at uh, 6 o'clock kickoff, uh, Rue Blue weekend. So I uh, ho hope to see everybody there and supporting the Zips. But, yeah, certainly coming off of two Power 5 games uh, where our kids have played hard and uh, – yeah, hopefully we get ourselves uh, healthy and ready to go on Saturday. Now you mentioned most teams improve the most between weeks one and two. How much did your team improve against Rutgers, and how much more do you want to see on Saturday? No, we got to see improvements across the board to, to continue uh, to give ourselves an opportunity to win football games. I think there were, uh, you know, there was progress in some areas, and uh, you know, some th some things we certainly got to improve on. And, so I told the team afterwards, what, what did we do? Let's identify what we did well and why and look on ways to build upon uh, those successes and what we did uh, poorly and why and how to improve upon those things and, and what, what, what were the mistakes that were of our volition and what were the ones that were a bit unavoidable because of who we were playing. So, uh, you know, all, all those things are be taken into account. Hey, Joe, I know last year, you know, when the season ended, what's next at quarterback was a, was a big talking yeah. point for you. Can you kind of assess how Ben Finley's done so far and just kind of, you know, let us know, um, you know, kind of what he's brought behind the scenes as well? Yeah, well, I mean, Ben was elected captain by, well, quite frankly, by me. I picked the captains this year. But, I mean, he has demonstrated an incredible level of maturity in his approach to the game. Uh, he's a guy that galvanizes the team, you know, through, through his uh, – you know his preparation and his work ethic, and, and, and the guy, and the guys, the guys really number one, they respect him and they they like him as well. So I think, you know, he, he's 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 a guy that the team rallies around. But you know, he, he's also a guy that can throw the ball with accuracy and velocity and touch, and can make plays with his feet. And he's he's a he's a pretty good competitor too. And I heard earlier you mentioned your linebacking core. Yeah. Can you expound on that a little bit, and what makes that a special tandem for you? Yeah, when we, we um, you know, signed those guys our first year here, you know, Antavius out of JUCO and then Brian out of high school in, in, in Illinois. And it's kind of like old, old school recruiting in the sense that, you know, you brought those guys in and you've seen them develop over time, but they're definitely the heart and soul of the defense, you know, emotionally and by performance. Uh, the, the two guys that the, the defense looks to for their cues and, uh, you know, guys who play 100 miles an hour 100% of the time and, and have backed it up with um, – you know, with productivity as well. Coach, you've got Colgate coming in Saturday out of the uh, Patriot League. Very good uh, program at Colgate. Yeah, Coach Dukowski's done a, a very nice job uh, taking over for Coach Hunt, you know, a team that's always um, in the mix to, 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 win, to win a conference championship and get to playoff berth. But uh, it's a, a mentality football team, smart, tough, blue collar, hard nose, you know, lunch pail operation. And, you know, the film don't lie. You, you, you turn it on and you see the offensive line knocking people back, the running backs, you know, falling forward behind their pads, you know, quarterback that can beat you with his arms and his legs and, and a defense that, you know, that really plays physical and, 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 and runs to the football.